Clarify that bet because when Rugged Man gets it, not winning the league. One, United, not winning the league. That's one bet. Then two, we are winning the league. Oh my god. Okay, so that's two million naira. Yes, now. Two million naira. Stalin back is here. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> if I can't pay, they give me loan. This is Superfan Challenge. I've got a TV show called Superfan Challenge. It started last year. And um, this was an idea we put together, um, a celebrity version of a TV show. A TV show is a game show whereby football fans, ball heads, lock horns. Um, it's, it's got six clubs, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United, Barcelona, Liverpool and Real Madrid. Um, so we said, well, we've got celebrity guests on the show who come on and represent their teams. So we decided to create an event whereby instead of them to just come on the show and be yabbing themselves and all that, let them. I mean, put their money where their mouth is, put their hearts where their mouth is, let them go head to head. So, and we call it Celebrity Super Fan Challenge. As you've witnessed, it's a party. It's been a lot of fun. Um, for the first edition, it was Rugged Man versus Benga Adeyinka. Rugged Man is, an, is a Manchester United fan. Benga Adeyinka is an Arsenal fan. They've been dissing themselves on Twitter. So, man, you have as Arsenal. It's been a lot of fun. And then today was the day they were supposed to settle the matter. I want you to know this story, please. Come sit here. Let me get you. There's a Valentine's Day promo coming up. Play at Old Trafford and get three points free. All in that while the promo lasts. Uh, announcer, David Moyes. And Chelsea fans are talking about the show. But I mean, you're a Chelsea fan. And um, I just, I mean, we, I just thought we've seen the back end from any table. And who is on top? I'm the fun, the humor about it. Um, and it gives you, uh, it makes you want to know more about your club. And uh, you get to find out people who really know about the clubs, not just making mouth. It's fun. Like I call him, um, Baba Rugged Man, uh, they have good sense of humor, so they uh, they put everything into one, and it was fun. Even it didn't even feel like it was a conversation. And then Chego Arise kept on telling me questions, and then we kept on plotting things. So it was actually very good, and I had fun. All right, question number two: Chelsea won the Champions League in 2012, despite having shambolic displays and failing to finish in sixth place. Can United do the same, yes. or will they go trophyless and finish outside the top four? I'll start with you, Mr. Lincoln. Man, you, Roger, Mr. Lincoln, has a record of coming back. But I put it to you that they were coming back with a coach that knew what he was doing, yeah. with a coach that was up to par, with a coach that got that had the support and respect of his players. Yeah. It would be practically impossible. It will be a modern day miracle if Man U can win anything. Out one, the players complain about Moyes' playing style. 
It's obvious the players don't want to play for him. It's obvious he does not have the intellectual capacity and the way we have. He went all the way. Fantastic. I think it's a lovely idea. We we need to learn to let our hair down, have fun, and it's always right to find a woman passionate about sports and football. KBT is doing an amazing job and I think we have to do all we can to support her. It's a good initiative. She She's being really creative. She's making, um, some people take it that football is really like boring. All they do is just play, play, run around, score and all whatnot, you know, but she's adding more fun to it. She's getting really creative and then getting celebrities to come and do this is a good thing and as you can see, the supporters are here, everybody in their jerseys, so it's good. Rugged man was the winner, he's very happy.